Have you ever wondered if it was a waste of time and money for us to take general education classes to be given our degree? A chemistry major lifting weights or a music major learning math? I've been thinking the same question. I've been doing my research over the topic and ask other people the same question. Twelve of our presidents did not graduate. George Washington did not attend college but received a surveyor's license from the College of William and Mary. James Monroe attended but did not graduate from the College of William and Mary. William Henry Harrison attended but did not graduate from Hamden Sydney College. William McKinley attended but did not graduate from Algany College. Harry S. Truman attended Kansas City Law School but did not graduate. Andrew Jackson, Martin Van Buren, Zachary Taylor, Millard Fillmore, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Johnson, and Grover Cleveland did not attend college. 32 of our presidents did graduate college though. Furthering on my research, I looked through some articles about this question. I came across an article that talked about what I needed for this question, but it was a resolution more than an answer. Making education matter. Three researchers by the name of Joan Hawthorne, Ann Kelsch, and Tom Steen conducted an experiment about how students believed it was a waste of time and had no outcome on their final degree. Through this study, students will find opportunities to practice skills encountered in classes taken as part of the general education requirements as they move forward into classes in their program. General education will become a part of the undergraduate curriculum rather than the introductory experiment that covers the way for real work within the major. The outcome was even better than what these researchers wanted. The undergraduates being more knowledgeable within this analysis was to make general education matter, which occurred, but the portion that made it better was over this study was the faculty, making general education matter regarding the students and themselves. Through further study, I continued finding more and more information. The effect of teaching general education courses on deep approaches to learning. How disciplinary context matters, written by Thomas F. Nelson Laird and Amy K. Garver, is the second article I read about, and it shows one side of my question, not a solution, but an answer, which shows that general education does matter because it is intended to help students develop valuable skills such as integrative thinking, communication, quantitative reasoning, and critical thinking that are crucial for lifelong learning. In essence, it is the assumption that general education courses build a foundation of knowledge needed for graduates to be effective citizens in a fast-paced, interconnected world. From this quote, I have went from one side of the globe to the other in a matter of seconds. I would have never thought of it in that way before, but that is the point behind the research paper, isn't it? I've always known students that think general education was a waste of time and money when they could get to their job more quickly and wouldn't have to spend a year and a half to get all the general education classes out of the way and go to the degree of their choice. But after hearing this quote, I bet they changed their perspective from just that thought and information.